Hey everybody, it's Bill from MattTracker.com and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Before we dive in, just want to remind everybody about the channel giveaways that we have going on. There's a video link in the description. You can get all the details there. Congrats to everybody who has won so far and there's going to be more winners announced very soon. Now, the topic of today's video is one that I've been trying to acquire for a really long time. And the one thing I realized about this is that it's hard to find. It's hard to find complete. It's hard to find working. So I don't know really what I have here. Um, the only thing I've done with this is remove it from the box. I haven't really done anything else to it yet. So what we see initially is what I'm experiencing for the first time with this, and um, hopefully it goes well. Uh, as we know, I might occasionally accidentally break something on this show. Um, so hopefully it's not broken out of the box. Hopefully it's just not bad luck. But what I call this like a holy grail item. Uh, no, I... It's close, but it's not like my holy grail for mask. And that's actually a good question that I'll save for another episode. Um, I might collect your responses on Facebook and Twitter and just kind of go over them and see what everybody's thoughts are on their holy grail item. But for now, I'll keep that to myself. But there's enough space here for me to work on this video at this spot. So we got to get that on the floor. So I'll see you there in a second. All right, so now that we're down on the floor here, before I open the box, um, I haven't opened this up yet. I've been waiting to do the video to see if everything actually works or not. Uh, one of the funny things is that the guy that sold it to me, or the you know, person that sold it to me, was like, hey, this red car here doesn't always come with the set. So I naturally assumed that I wasn't getting Thunderhawk in the set. And it's probably going to be true, but let's open it up and see what we got. Well, actually, first, let's take a look at the box. There you go. Nice box shot here. Nine feet of track. Now, I will point out that there's at least, I think, four sets that go by this name daredevil and they were all initially made by a company named Dorum. but i don't know why they were just like this repackaged repurposed but there's a lot of them and you'll see them pop up on the screen here um but yeah it's pretty interesting to say the least We've got the the flame there Lane Changer, Car Release Shoot. Uh, there's there's two Thunderhawks on the package. There's one. There's two. So there should be two in here at the minimum. And you got Jackhammer right there. And then look at this kid. Look how happy he is. Pointing at fire. He's kind of pointing over it. But, you know, we'll get with it one day. Sides are the same thing. Just the same shot. Left on the back here. So now we get inside. I'm going to leave this up here for reference so I can look at it. And the most important thing is, does this work? One thing I will also point out too before we get started with any of the mechanics here. If you ever want to own a mask item that was copyrighted in 1978, well here's your chance. Because they just repackaged it. They kept the copyright right there for Dorum, 1978. So this here predates Mask by what, seven years? 
that's a nice little interesting tidbit. Um, see what we got in here. Make sure we got some parts. Hmm. Well, here's Jackhammer. Self-explanatory. The wheels kind of hug the sides of it. And it's just, you know, be able to roll around here. Wheels are nothing special. Just a really thin plastic. You see there. It looks like we're missing the top rail piece here. We're missing the hoop. And at least this car chute from what I can tell so far. So we're not complete, but it's okay. Oh, man, all right. So um, this is the key. Does the mechanism actually work? It takes two D batteries. Oh God, I'm gonna break it, aren't I? Um, oh, okay, there we go. Two clasps on the side, two giant arrows I didn't press in. So, that's why. All right, looks pretty clean. All right, we got one D battery here. I don't know why everything back then used D batteries, but you know. Dented, that's probably not a good thing. Oh, well, it's gotta work because I don't have other ones. It looks like it's off, I would assume. Oh. No, it's definitely not off, and it definitely does something. Um, let me see if I can push that back a little bit there. See if I can keep it in the off position. Alright, so it's off, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. Turn it on, and I'm gonna shoot jackhammer into the blanket right there. All right, let's see what we got here. So it's gonna get loud for a second. Or, um, not at all. So, yeah, um, do something. It did work. I heard it. Ugh. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Oh, no. So the mechanism at least fires, and it's probably just, you know, with it being from 1978, uh, I'm amazed that it still functions, to be honest. Alright, try again here. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Right, I don't want to keep randomly turning on in the video, so let's get these batteries out. Alright. So you might be asking yourself, Bill, that's not complete. Well, I remember when I said that pretty much these sets are just repackaged to meet the criteria of whatever the, you know, clientele wanted. So in preparation for this thing not being complete, what I did was bought another one. A much cheaper version, by the way. Same premise, I didn't open the box, even though the box is very open. And I'm not gonna go over this one in too much detail, but you can see it's got the same principles of it, um, except this comes with three cars. And because I don't have Thunderhawk, I thought that if they came with a red car, that I can put some small you know, stickers on it, um, like print them out from the actual Thunderhawk toy. And then let me know in the comments what I should do with the blue and the yellow car. I guess I can maybe make Hurricane out of that one, but I don't know what the hell to do with yellow. Jackal? Barracuda? Goliath? I don't know. But let's see what we got in here. So 
my hope is that I can at least piece together a working set and my extra hope is that I can piece together both of these sets somehow to make a super speed loop the loop times two. Uh, one of the things I'm hoping this has is the shoot release. Um, let's see. Let's get this open. Oh good, it's got directions. That's at least a start. Um, I do, I do know that these were available online pretty easily. Um, I wasn't too worried about that, but at least I have them. And I will put it together, and we will take a look at it. All right, let's see what we got. All right, we got... This is an attached piece here. So we got the mechanism here. This mechanism probably doesn't work. So, we'll see. I'm not going to attempt fate on it. But we have the rail pieces that I need right here. It almost looks like there's two sets in here. All right, we got red car. Nice. All right. And yellow. Cool. So, we got two cars. No blue one. We got the fire here. Uh, we got the chute. Nice. That's what I really wanted. Uh, I don't see the hoop. No hoop. But it's okay. So, as you can see, I was somewhat prepared for this. So now we can at least assemble a functioning set. So let's get ready for that. Um, I just hope I don't break it. Alright, Jack Henry, you stay out of the way. And again, this is not the actual assembly for this, but it will still serve its purpose. Ugh. God. Did I say serve a purpose? I meant kill me. Yeah, kill me. It looks like I'm building something from Ikea. Well, A and B's done already. Yes. Alright, we're ahead of the game here. Uh, e. <laughs> hmm. We're missing E. Not a good start. So hopefully E's over here. Again, I had these parts out all over here too. Kidding me? I don't have the. I, I can't even build a damn thing. Is this it? That looks nothing like the picture. All right, that's on me. Um. missing a lot of parts which is a shame but again I kind of had it I kind of had a feeling it was going to happen that way that's why I got these so adding you know extra parts in is never a bad thing It's like the exact same size, the perfect size for it, but it's not right there. I'm not going to attempt it, because I know it'll happen. Okay.
So I have to use this piece here because I don't have it with this one. So, so far we're missing two parts and it's pretty good to see it like this because you'll be able to tell what's actually missing from the set that I have. But the, you know, the principle of it's still the same. Um, we're still gonna, we're still gonna learn something about uh, physics here and gravity, which is what this show's all about. Damn it! I'm testing my patience, apparently. Get in there, you bastard! All right. Nope. Nope. Yes. Nope. going as great as I thought it would. And I'm not trying to make it look like I'm actually struggling, because I am. The directions just aren't very clear. Man. This is as hard as putting something together from Ikea. So... There's two fours, which I don't understand. Are they already connected? They're already connected. I guess. Here. Okay. And I got this piece, which is good. I really do. I feel like it's missing a step here somewhere. Um, so I have to... So this comes off here. Oh damn, I think I did it. Get some more brace pieces on there. Uh, looks like it goes. And if I had the fire, it would go here. Um, I don't really have anything to go there. Uh, I got the perfect thing. jackhammer blends into everything there we got fake thunderhawk and fake something and just for decoration uh, there we go that's gonna get in the way put it over here there we go
so let's watch this thing in action. Here it is completed. Well, mostly complete. Again, there'll be fire right here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. You can see what parts are missing. But I don't care. I'm happy with it. So I'm going to pick the camera up and I'm going to bring it over here to show you just how far it went. Okay, so hold your excitement in for this one. So the mechanism from 1978 is not functioning correctly. So let's try the other one. Uh, so I took the batteries out of that, put it in here, and we got nothing. You got to see it completed though, quote unquote. Um, because that's how it shot the car so that wheel would just turn and it would kick it up that's how you would get it man I was really looking forward to this thing working um, so yeah it would go up the ramp through the loop down over and then shoot down and come back around how much power did this thing have to have to do that and, oh well, I'm still going to customize the red car, which I think is stuck in here. Yep, I'm still going to customize that. And um, I'm going to box this guy back up. But if you have any questions about it, let me know. Answer them the best I can. Again, this was 1978, and there's multiple versions of the actual set. And if you have uh, a suggestion for a new agent profile, please let me know on that. And stay tuned for the racing series reviews. And I might have a couple special guests along the way. So until next time, this is Bill from MattTracker.com. And I'm not going anywhere.